Hello. Hello. Ooh, this is Lie Water Late. I'm doing a review of my mock. It's a Titan Toa Balta, whatever. As I said in my tube review, I need you guys, your viewers. I don't have many, but I don't have many yet. But by when I have a bunch, well, I need you guys to post comments for elemental suggestions and for element suggestions for this guy. And no, do not, do not post fire. Fire is too overused. Because he's a Tom Matoran already, so it would be too predictable. And so, yeah, his colors. Well, yeah, he, I added this cool little scope thing. Because it turns out to make it look cooler, instead of having that weird Toa Metru head, I had a fan. And Toka slash Mystica Matoran head. So it doesn't look like he has eyes inside of it. It looks like that's just like one big eye screen thing. But yeah, it looks cooler that way. And when you put the scope on, you just put this one of these in the hole in the back of his head. And you. Take this, put on, take this, put it in the hole that's remaining there, and yeah, this is pretty early in the morning, 7.28 a.m. See, this, everyone already knows how to build, put on there, well, they knew how to build that anyway, so I don't know why I showed instructions for that, but you take this thing, it's like those double X hole hole things, only it has clicker holes. Not many of you might have these things, but I do. So you put it on, and it's like that. You get kind of these little Legos, and you get uh, Transparent stud doesn't matter what color looks coolest in bright red or lime green, but you put it on like that, and there you have it sculpt. But he has kind of a weird head connection thing. You see, I used this instead of just one of those half circle rod, half axle rod, I, instead of using one of those, because if I used one of those, it would like wobble, but with using my design, it doesn't wobble, and I used like a ball piece like that, and one of those things, like these and stuck it in the axle hole, in the axle rod hole in it, and I just made this thing. I put it in, and come on, it's kind of hard to do. Didn't know it was this hard when I made him, because I didn't. It's easier when you take the chest plate off, then take that thing out and put it in there, and then just. Put that on. And just put the connector thing on, but yeah. As you can see, I couldn't find a better color for these, so I just used bright red. And it also is on the back of his Mari launcher. I forget what they're actually called. So you can post comments that are what they're called. And they gave him these big claws. Looks kind of cool, looks kind of weird. And as you can see, if I just did this, then that would look weird. See, that looks weird, see right there. His hand is, doesn't really look like he's holding it that much. But then if I put a plus rod in there, 
take one of these things. Uh, uh, just to, the one I used on his back. Doesn't matter if it's the same or different color. Put it in. Looks like that. And then lastly, on the, with the other hole, I put his blade in. So it looks a lot nicer than it would if I didn't have that connector thing. Yeah, actually looks more like he's holding that, that thing wide. And the Maori launcher thing, eh, it doesn't work too well. None of them work that well unless you soak them in water for a while. And his legs, his legs, his leg design. I just came up with this weird leg design with Toa Metru feet. And then Paraka feet, silver Paraka feet. And it's like that, and I added these so the feet wouldn't slip out while I'm posing him. And there I added, and I made it, and I chose these on him so I could, uh, so I could be, get this like coming down from there, and it wouldn't be too long or anything. And yeah, overall, the leg design is my custom one. I didn't, I couldn't figure out a way to attach things so that these wouldn't hang freely, but it turns out they don't hang freely. They're light enough because, he do, because I didn't add any armor to them. I was thinking of adding armor, but then that would make them hang freely and that wouldn't be any good. And also I used these feet for shoulder plates, which, look, which turned out pretty nice. And it's torso. It's basically just a bigger version of the Inaika torso. Just gotta take off this chest plate thing. Yeah, I used that long connector piece. And so they're even like that. This overused piece and the torso and the chest piece are even. And I chose a three rod there so it could fit in like that and yeah <laughs> it so if I just used the normal Nika torso then that would look weird so I used an extended one which was more suitable for a Titan and as you can see, I didn't add anything special to the arms. They're fine on their own. So, yeah. He's kind of like monkey-ish. He's a Toa now. He wonder, he thought that if the great red star turned the, the, he saw the great right Metanui chose him to become a Toa, so Metanui gave him a relic, and when he really he put energy into the relic, I mean energy from his body, it surrounded him, it trapped him in a small chamber, and then. He, I mean, but the chamber was still big enough to f fit Titan form of him, and then he transformed a Titan form, and Metanui was strong enough to break it, and then in Titan form, Metanui was strong enough to break the chamber with his elemental power, so yeah, by reach nine minutes, but you can still have ten minutes. I don't know why, but everyone likes to have t only ten minutes. Probably cuts you off at ten minutes when you're doing a webcam video. But anyways, bye. You can see uh, Toa Meta Nui's feet in the background there. So yeah, bye. This is this is. Ray Wiley, signing out. Hey, you don't do my part. Die, 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 die. Sorry about that. Oh, I have reached 10 minutes now. Well, 9 minutes 44, 45.